What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to Breaking News. Isabel Guzman launches EIDL 2.0 with a jam-packed email. It is Thursday, September the 9th, 2021. Bucks versus Cowboys. Please do me a huge favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Hashtag EIDL in the comments below. Don't forget. My goodness, I was out of control today on Twitter at Try Small Biz because I had to sit through a markup session where not one single amendment, not a single fucking amendment was voted on in favor of restaurants. Our great veterans, thank you for serving this country and many of you that call yourself a small business owner. So my question is, why the hell are these people in office to begin with? However, in real time, breaking here in the last 12 minutes, in fact, I'm going to read out loud an email from Miss Isabel Guzman current head of the SBA, exactly what it means for you, your family, and your small business to get that 24 months of working capital. So ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, ice cold beer, glass of wine, whiskey on a big rock. Here we go. All right, huge night. Shout out to my friend Speak and See. I got the Cowboys coming out with a fast start. 14 nothing shocks the Bucks, but the GOAT gets them in the end. 38-27 ish i think i said 37 28 they're going to cover the spread and it's going to be an over i'm not a gambler when it comes to sports but that's just my opinion all right ladies and gentlemen more importantly for most of you anyway i just got an email that we're going to go through in real time i have not read it but i do have the headline in front of me so i will go through this as quickly as possible if you want to get your hands on it check your email box or subscribe to the newsroom at sba.gov all right headline is sba administrator Guzman enhances COVID economic injury disaster loan program to aid small businesses facing challenges from the Delta variant. Well, rather timely. The summary bullet points are increased loan caps to $2 million, expanded use of funds to pay and prepay business debt. We'll cover that into some detail today. Streamlined review processes for those of you that are in reconsideration and Deferred payments, first approval and disbursement of loans of 500000 or less also introduced. That looks interesting to me. So let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen, starting off, of course, with a quote from Miss Isabel Guzman, who I try to do my best in terms of treating her with respect. You'll see me on Twitter a lot of please and thank you very much, hearts and hands together. But when I have to blast them like I did today when it comes to the House Committee on Small Business, I fucking blast them. I'm fighting to get you guys, regardless of size, location, or credit score, $10,000 in terms of the grants, 24 months of capital. It's happening, $2 million caps. It's now official. And the more they screw us over by way of denying us the 10 grand we were promised in the fucking CARES Act, the better the chance we have to get the idle loan forgiven all the all together so you never pay the SBA a friggin' dime, right? Big Ben, fucking Cardin, if that's not enough F-bombs to start off the video, the SBA's, quote, Economic Dis a Disaster Loan Program, this is Miss Isabel Guzman speaking, offers a lifeline to millions of small businesses who are still impacted by the pandemic. No shit. She goes on to say, we've retooled this critical program, increasing borrowing rates, to $2 million, offering 24 months of deferment, meaning if you get the loan now, you don't have to start paying it back for 24 months, and expanding flexibility to also uh, to borrowers to pay down their high interest business debt, which is brand new. It was very strict last year when we first took out our, our first tranche of the loan. Now, and, and I think it's because they know they've screwed over millions of middle income families, they broaden it out to basically anything that has to do with your business. And again, I don't think they're going to be able to audit 4 million people. They've funded more money in the last 18 months than 50 years plus combined. So as long as you're not at the strip club and you, well, actually, she, mom, yeah, she's dead. She's been dead five years. No, six years, mom. Sorry about that. She still pipes in. She doesn't want me going to the strip clubs. All right, fine. I won't. We have also ramped up our outreach efforts to ensure that we're communicating with smallest businesses as well as those from low-income communities who might be eligible for the grant, yada, yada, yada. Our mission-driven SBA team, <coughs> there are some hardworking folks, but let's be honest, at the highest level, mm, the SBA team has been working around the clock to make the loan review process as user-friendly. Now, should we just pause the video right there and laugh out fucking loud for the next 15 minutes? User-friendly? My ass. Maybe they are in the process of making it so. EIDL 2.0, in my opinion, is actually better than the previous. 
We'll cover more on that in a second. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so key changes. And again, you can get this. I would imagine it's going to be on SBA.gov shortly. If it's not, subscribe to the newsroom and they'll send it to you. Here are the key changes. Bullet point number one, increasing the caps, going from $500,000 to $2 million. Special thanks to all the other channels. You know who they are who have been in this fight now for 17 months when we started asking or actually demanding in our own special way that they raise the caps to where they've been for the last 50 plus years and that's $2 million, so that's now official. Implementation of a deferment uh, payment period. The SBA will ensure small business owners will not have to begin COVID idle repayment. Actually, you're never gonna have to. If, it, it's, if it's up to me, if I get my fucking way and they at least forgive some of this, you wait and see. It's an election next year. Nobody said we could get 10 grand for our, anyone, let alone our low income communities. I'm going to get, along with the help of the other channels, some or all of this fucking loan forgiven so you don't have to pay it back. The SBA will ensure that businesses don't have to begin payments until two years after the loan origination. So, does that mean two years from now? Actually, it means if you got a loan last year, go ahead two years. This particular loan, go ahead two years. That's when you're going to have to start paying over the next 18 to 24 months. Bullet number three, establishment of a 30-day exclusivity window. This is brand new and in real time, ladies and gentlemen. So let's break it down together. To ensure that Main Street businesses have additional time to access these funds, she must be referring to the targeted idle advance, the supplemental, and the loan. The SBA will implement a 30-day exclusivity window of approving and dispersing funds for loans of $500,000 or less. Okay, let's see if that actually happens. So what she's basically saying is, the smallest of the small, which is 99.9% .9 of you, if you got a loan of less than a half a million dollars, you go first. So you get priority over the next 30 days in front of those that are seeking $2 million. I'm not sure I fucking believe that, but it sounds good, right? It sounds good. Let's see if they actually do. Approval and disbursement of loans over 500,000 will begin after a 30 day period. So look, if they enforce this, ladies and gentlemen, and I know I got some people out there that are eligible for the $2 million, that to me reads, you might have to wait 30 days while they service everybody else. But I look to be uh, kept informed. So if they drag your feet, if you're looking for $2 million, make sure you stay in touch with me. I wanna know if they hold this one to the fire because again, it sounds good in that they're gonna be serving the smallest of the small business owner. Expansion of eligible use of funds. The COVID funds can now be eligible to prepay commercial debt and make payments on federal business debt. Basically business credit cards, if you owe a Fannie Mae, a Freddie Mac, or anything along those lines to the federal government, and in my opinion, just about anything else that you can make as a normal business expense, you can use the idle funds to pay it down. And again, this is my opinion now. And if they don't like this tough fucking shit, there's no way in hell they're gonna be able to audit four million small business owners. But because they probably don't like me very well, I can almost guarantee that they're coming after me. So let me just throw this out there again. I haven't spent a fucking dime of that SBA money. I'm holding it to the side in the outside chance that I'm actually successful in getting it forgiven. So if you wanna come after me, it'll be one of the most boring audits you ever fucking do. All right, final bullet point, simplification of affiliation requirements. To ease the COVID idle application process for small business, the SBA has established a more simplified affiliation requirement to model those of the restaurant revitalization fund. Goes on to say, the enhancement of the COVID idle program will move more businesses greater and more flexible support from over $150 billion available. So it was over 200 billion, but they're going a hell of a lot faster, over 7 billion on average for the last six weeks. So it's, it's doodled down to $150 billion. Still plenty uh, to get everyone that's eligible for up to $2 million on or before the end of the year. Additionally, these changes will help entrepreneurs access capital at a time when, according to a recent Goldman Sachs, one of the most crooked Wall Street firms in the entire history of mankind, but that's a whole nother story. Oh, they own the 10,000 small business survey. You may have seen them on Twitter. They're running ads constantly. I find off subject. I'll cover that another day. 44% of small business owners report having less than three months of cash reserve. Geez, I wonder why. Why do half of us have less than $10,000? Hmm, maybe because you were supposed to give us $10,000 in the form of an idle grant 17 fucking months ago.
Has this hurt my business in some ways? Yes. I own a company, ladies and gentlemen, Remote Sales. I just started another one called Small Business Incorporated, where I'm going to help grow your small business. But if some people got a problem with my potty sailor's mouth, yes, they do. But am I happy? Am I proud? Am I grateful to serve thousands, tens of thousands, and hopefully someday millions of small business owners who have gotten fucked by the federal government and the SBA? You're gosh darn right I am. So I wouldn't trade it for the world. All right. It goes on to share a few other things in terms of how to apply. It's actually a very well thought out email. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. And I'm not going to hold you much longer than 10, 10 minutes and change. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. So look, the vast majority you're going to get your money in the next 30 days or so. We just learned that if you're looking for $2 million, you may have to wait, but I'm not sure I fucking believe that. But please keep me informed if you're one of the larger small businesses out there. You get two years to pay this back, and that's given me two fucking years to fight nonstop. And no, I'm not going to talk about it every single day, but you'll notice I'm cranking up that volume on Twitter. The reason for that is if they're going to screw us out of the $10,000 we were promised in the CARES Act, you middle and high income communities, then that gives moi ammunition to say, you know what? You need to forgive the loan. You've screwed us over enough. So I will keep fighting day and night, night and day on your behalf, ladies and gentlemen, until next time in under 12 minutes. Always remember, I love each and every single one of you and thank you so much for watching.